Okay then, so to, and so today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at a, a famous band from 1970s all the way up to the 80s and came back within the 2000s as a solo singer. That, and of that course being, as it would be, Jeff Lynn. And uh, this is the very best of Electro Light Orchestra, which has 13 classic videos. And that's the, album, that's the video that first came out in 1991, as it was released by Telstar Video Entertainment, as it was done for Jet Production. And I think Epic was the distributor, or CBS. Yes, CBS. And now, uh, despite the album came out a couple of years before, and and it has thirty videos, though, to be honest, and for some people it doesn't feel enough, but I still enjoy it. And that is my second copy. That it, that was mainly because the the last copy I had had lost the signal on the picture, which kept going to blue. Or even on some of your functions gone to a static picture. I mean, and I love Electric Light Orchestra as it was my as it's my second favorite band behind Duran Duran. And so, let's all have a look at this retrospective on this video. And now we have here, uh, as we as we got an album under the same title, as it as it was done on a double disc. As it had some half of the songs off this album, and that includes on the back here is Mr. Blue Sky, Sweet Talking Woman, Living Thing, Evil Woman, The Diary of Horace Wimp, Telephone Line, Shine a Little Love, Turn to Stone, Calling America, Out of My Head, Here Is the News, Roll Over Beethoven, which is a live version, Rock Aria, Rock and Roll is King, Confusion. Don't walk away. All over the world. I don't know if I said it. And then there's Wild West Hero. Don't bring me down. I'm alive. Last train to London. Hold on tight. Strange magic. And ticket to the moon. You know, as it, as my dad and my mum always, always loved the electric light orchestra. In fact, and I, and I had the first acknowledgement in 2005. Along with for my acknowledgement to Javan Javan as it's the, as it's another great band. And as the as the seventies were the year that Status Quo, Slade and even um and Meatloaf started out in that same decade. But but there is one band that I enjoy is Electric Light Orchestra. And let's not waste any more time and let's have a look at this. The very best of the Electric Light Orchestra. It's very cool. And now it has the band on it. Right. As the, on the picture there. As it has songs from Living Thing, Mr. Blue Sky. Mr. Blue Sky was a famous song taken from their famous 1977 album called Out of the Blue, which had multiple reissues. And when one of which had its 40th on a picture disc and as it was given to my dad last year for his birthday or even Christmas and which is worth a key and, and even had a, a re-release on CD as well in fold-up where you can build your own spaceship and then there's Wild West Hero I guess it came off the same album and now there are some songs from Discovery called Need Her Love Wishing, Shut It Love, Confusion, and Last Train to London, and The Diary of Horace Wimp. And as I, when I first watched the DVD of ELO Discovery, that came with a, uh, uh, Out of the Blue live on DVD, as it was on, the, on there as a bonus feature, as I really do enjoy it. And, and it was all linked together in one huge promo video. Here. It was all done in separate chunks. And now, anyway, we have here is Turn to Stone and Tightrope and Telephone Line and Rock Aria. 
some of them were seventies, some of them were from the eighties. Well, well, whole of it is seventies, I think. And 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 again, it does feel like it's half always been shortchanged. Unless you can tell, it is e for exemplification. And have a look inside here. And the and the spin spinny things are kind of different. And it has a clear video label, which is Telestar Video Entertainment, and which is code one zero three three. I enjoy it. And uh, and as I would like to say about this here, that I that I we've been to a couple of experience concerts, which is the ELO experience, and also the ELO encounter, which I definitely enjoyed. That ELO encounter was the was the um, which was a concert that we've been recently gone to since in the summer. I we enjoy it. We had a whale of a time, and we even get us. And even though it isn't the main band members themselves, and it's more of a tribute play, and, and we get to speak to some of the stars, and and a couple of songs were taken out of it due to time constraints, and that, and also, as we can get on with that, and we enjoy it as we have more of an experience, <laughs> as we had a lot of cassettes, CDs. And vinyl records, and even but and even by the by the split and by by the um but by the uh, but by this decade that that had all the ELO and Jeff Lynn albums as we as we'd like to listen to them in the car as it'll be like our in some cases as as their road trip kind of songs. Don't know why though, but it but it helps keep us going. And, and so yeah, and as a, I, I would highly recommend this video to all the ELO fans, and many of those who are into that sort of stuff. And so I, w I would like to say, stay tuned for the next episode, where where I get even more rare.